hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you let us look at this interesting example related to coordinate geometry straight lines in this example we have two conditions one is related to area of triangle and another condition which we are using is given slope of a line so we are using combination of area of triangle and slope of a particular line in this particular example The area of triangle ABC is 70 square centimeter. The coordinates of ABC are M comma N, 12 comma 19, 23 comma 20 respectively. If the slope of median AD is minus 5, then find the value of M plus N. Let's repeat that the area of triangle ABC is 70 square centimeter. Coordinates of A are M comma N, B is 12 comma 19 and C equal to 23 comma 20. If the slope of median AD is minus 5, then find the value of M plus N. So let's write down the approach we want to follow to solve this particular problem. For that we'll write down the steps. The first step is we have been given that area is equal to 70 square centimeter from that we should be able to get a equation or condition in terms of m and n second thing is we have been given slope of median that is ad is equal to minus 5 so to get slope of ad first we need to find out coordinates of d we have to get coordinates of D. Once you get coordinates of D, we can go to slope of AD equal to minus 5. We should get another equation in M and N. We solve them, we can find out the value of M and N. So the first step we do is to find out one condition in M and N by taking area equal to 70 square centimeter. So let's write down that. We know area formula. So first we'll write down what is our x1, y1, m comma n. Afterwards we have 12 comma 19. Then I have 23 comma 20. These are these are x1, y1 x2, y2, x3, y3. What's the formula we have? Half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. So let's substitute the values. So we'll go ahead and substitute the values and get one condition in terms of m and n this area is equal to 70 so can i write down half into x1 m into y2 minus y3 19 minus 20 plus x2 12 into y3 minus y1 20 minus n plus x3 23 into y1 minus y2 that is n minus 19 this whole thing is equal to 70 square units now can I take 2 to that side and write down this is equal to 140. Open the brackets, we will get 19m minus m into 20. Oh, oh. We can directly do 19 minus 20 minus 1, right? So I can say minus m. 9 plus 12 into 20, 240. Minus 12 into n, 12n. Plus 23 into n, 23n. Minus 23 into 19, 437. Let's simplify that. We get 23n minus 12n is 11n and this is minus m. So can I go back and write down minus m plus 11n is equal to 240 minus 197 will go to that side will become 337. That's our condition number one. What is that we got from that minus m 
plus 11 n equal to 337 let's write down somewhere minus m plus 11 n equal to 337 now next condition we want to use is slope of ad equal to minus 5 but for that we need to get the coordinates of d so we know d is nothing but midpoint of bc that means we can use midpoint formula and we can get the coordinates of d then we can find out the slope of ed equated to minus 5 we should get our next condition in terms of m and n first step is to find out the coordinates of d for that we will use midpoint formula we know b here we know c b is 12 comma 19 and c equal to 23 comma 20 we need to find out the coordinates of d we know that d b c midpoint is d so we can use the midpoint formula and we can write down coordinates of d will be 12 plus 23 divided by 2 comma 19 plus 20 divided by 2 that's equal to 35 by 2 comma 39 by 2 so we got the coordinates of d we can go back and write them down there that is 35 by 2 comma 39 by 2 now once we got the coordinates of d we will try to find out slope of ad and equate it to minus 5 so let's move to the next step slope of ad so we have a here and we have d here a is m comma n and d is 35 by 2 comma 39 by 2 we know these are the two points what will be the slope slope is given by we'll write down m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 here x1 y1 x2 y2 so let's substitute the values we get m of ad is equal to 39 by 2 minus y1 that is n divided by 35 by 2 minus m which is equal to minus 5 let's simplify that we take lcm we get 39 minus 2n by 2 will cancel is equal to 35 minus 2m equal to minus 5 so let's go to the next step cross multiplication we get 39 minus 2n is equal to minus 175 plus 10m or can I say 10m plus 2n is equal to 214 after simplification because 175 will go to that side will become positive so divide by we'll leave it like this this is our condition number two this is our condition number two so we'll write down there what's that condition 10m plus 2n equal to 214 I think we did all the hard work now we have to just solve them now and find out the values of m and n now we know the two conditions let's write them down first condition is 10m plus 2n equal to 214 the other condition I have is minus m plus 11n equal to 337 now I want to use eliminate elimination method so I will multiply that equation with 10 so that m can cancel it will become minus 10m plus 110n equal to 3370 now we can add them up we get 112n equal to 3584 if you divide them you get n equal to 32 32 into 100 is 3200, 320, 35, 20, 64, 35, 84, 112 times exactly. And uh, let's substitute this in another condition, whatever we have. We have minus m, minus m plus 11n equal to 337. Substitute there, minus m plus 11 into 32, 352 equal to 337 that means minus m equal to minus 15 or m equal to 15 so we got m equal to 15 and we got n equal to 32 so what's the value of m plus n 
m plus n value is 15 plus 32 that's nothing but equal to 47 so the solution for this particular problem is find value of m plus n is nothing but 47 so let's summarize this what we have done we have been in one condition with respect to area another condition with respect to slope of the median so the first point is take the area find out one condition in m and n second time to find out the slope of ad first i need the coordinates of d that's nothing but midpoint formula we use on bc we get the d coordinates then we take the slope of ad by using y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equate it to minus 5 simplify we get two equations in m and n solve them by using linear equation in two variables any of your preferable method you get m and n values you add them up you get m plus n so that's equal to 47 that's one interesting example i thought of sharing with you i'll catch you once again in the next session till then keep smiling and sharing thanks for your support bye for now